Okay, welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. I've had a few um, problems over the time here making some signs sometimes. I don't know what it, it, it bugs me sometimes when these lowercase letters, when we use on our street signs, they hang below and it throws your center off. Um, a lot of people that work with this kind of know. I've had a few people ask, well, what do you do? Well, I'll show you what I do. It's always these letters here, the G, the J, the P, the Q, and the Y that hang below. Okay, let's take a look at some more. So when we make our street signs and we want to make, here's a, kind of a, what, what they look like. They're green. They're uh, you know nine inches tall. We use the six inch letters. So when I have to make a sign, like say, um, I had to make this one and it was really bugging me. Um, I use, uh, we use the series C. We use the six inch fonts. You know, a lot of cities and counties don't. I know the city where I live, they use those four inch all caps and it's, and hard for my old eyes to see that. So let's do a six inch here. And we're going to go, um, this this one here drives me crazy. It's called um, P-O-P-P-Y, Poppy Lane. And the lane is going to be a little different size. We use a smaller, we use a 2.5 inch. I'll change that to 2.5. And we'll just do the lane. Lane. Okay. Go back to this. So here's what happens is the lane, we usually keep it in um, line with the top of the letter. So when you center this, what happens when you center it, it you have just a little space here and a little space here. And let's copy this and let's paste it up here. And let's turn that into white. Find the center of that. Like I said, this circle here is where our logo goes. So when you center these, and remember I told you that the lane goes to the top of the P, so we'll copy this also. Uh, copy, let's paste it over here. And we're gonna turn that white also. So then the poppy lane comes up here. Back here, I uh, can't find my poppy lane again. Hey, well, we'll do without the lane for now. So what happens is when you go to center your um, the poppy, it it just looks funny because you, you got these tails hanging down and it's way up at the top of the sign. And to me, it just it's hard on the eyes. It doesn't look good. I don't like it. Um, as you can see down here. So what I do is, I, and I'm using flexi. So what I do is I'll highlight these. Okay. Um, right now, let's just turn that into a wire wireframe. It's kind of easier to look at. So what I do is I'll highlight those. And what I want to do is I want to um, bring those tails up a little bit so that they're not so long. And so what I'll do is I'll come in here to the uh, text right here. And I'm going to um, break them apart. So now what I did is I broke them apart. So they're not all text in one word. It's just, see, they're all individual letters now. So what I do, hold down on your shift key. I'm going to select these. And then what I do, since they're all selected, and they don't necessarily have to be in a row. They can be anywhere in the letter. And what I do is, I kind of got ahead of myself, is I, I go about a half an inch. So... Bring a line down about a half an inch from there, which would be about here. So then what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll select the letters again. I'll hold down on your shift key, shift key, shift key. And I bring them up to about this line right here, just so they're still low enough to where you can distinguish that they are the lowercase letters. Let me get rid of this line here. So you can see that they're um, lowercase letters. And I can even give that, you know, they do like a little short there. It depends on what, what you want to do with these. Um, give them a little bit more length there, a little bit more distinguished. There we go. So that looks a lot better. So now when we, we're going to group all these together again, uh, hit our group tool. And now we can drop that down um, to... And it makes it more even looking. And then um, this poppy here, 
the lane goes just right below it. Okay, and we'll do the poppy. And we're going to hold down on the shift and we're going to group all those together. And I'm going to copy those. So see how that poppy up here, it, it just doesn't look good like that. So let's paste this up here. Um, poppy. And we're going to turn that into white. And I'm going to get rid of this poppy here. Just pull it out of the way. Now we'll bring this poppy into line here. To me, that looks so much better. You can still distinguish that they're lowercase letters. Um, you, you know, when you're making street signs, there is, well, I can't say there is nothing in the MUTCD that says you can't do that, but um, I don't think anybody's ever gonna get sued because the P didn't hang down far enough or the Y. Um, you know, I don't think it's gonna endanger anybody's life or anything. And um, so when you look at this sometimes too, I just, I, I visually look at it and I, I think to myself, well, that P doesn't look, it looks like it needs to be moved over a little bit. So what we're gonna do is just go in, ungroup them. Okay. And go up to your text again, and we're gonna, they're already broke apart. So what we wanna do is uh, ungroup them. And then you can take the P and you can just pop it over a little bit to where it looks visually better. Um, more pleasing to the eye, I guess you could say. So we're going to go ahead and group all those again. Let me get this out of the way. It's messing up my... So now we have... Um, let's turn our poppy lane into... Um, We'll go all black on that again. So now, as you can see, I think it looks more pleasant to the eye. Um, like I said, with these lowercase letters, they, they hang down so far. Remember how it was just throwing the balance off? It just didn't look good like it was. So there's something that we do. Um, some of the uh, directional signs that I make that have big um, up in here, this is only nine inches tall. Some of them might be 12 or 24. And you don't really notice that that offset with the lowercase letters that hang down. But when you're making these street signs that are narrower like this, you really can notice it. And like I said, you know, the letters don't have to be in order like this in order to, um, you know, select and move them like we did. They can be, you know, uh, one here, one here, one down at the end. It doesn't matter what the order is. So there's a little um, thing on how we do ours. So like I've said before, when you're making these street signs and you're, you're struggling and things don't look right, you know who you can always turn to? That's right, turn to the sign man. As always, thanks for watching.